This is how you guarantee weight shift in your golf swing. Now, getting the correct weight shift will help you drop the club on the inside and level up your power. I'm gonna show you exactly how. I'm Alex Elliott, a PG Golf professional and top 50 coach. Now, when golfers hear weight shift, I think we get a little bit scared because we worry about swaying too much off the golf ball and then not being able to get back, which would cause fat, stins, and actually lose power. So, two stages to this drill. Really nice and simple. All I want you to do for stage number one is place that golf club across your chest. Get more pointing out that left-hand side. So have a look at that. I've got more pointing out just here. Now this is gonna be great for showing you shoulder plane. Stand with your feet together, just like this, and get into goal posture. So just imagine you had your driver in your hand. What I want you to do, and <laughs> I'll be honest, this takes a little bit of coordination to start with. I want you to turn and point this down to the ground, like this, but step in that direction. Now watch me. Now what this is allowing you to do is get some hip turn, get some separation, but not sway off the golf ball. I want you just to complete for me right now, just let's say sort of three to eight reps. And this will really feel like you're in posture. Like have a look at this from down the line. You can really see that I'm staying in posture. Now look at that. If I had the golf club there, I could really drop it in this position. Lack of term, I'm just gonna throw it over the top all day. So that is stage number one, done and dusted. Getting the feeling of the step and the golf club, your shoulder blade, pointing down to the ground. That is so good, you've got to try that bit. Now on to part two, and I want to say this is not only going to give you benefits with your driver, but also with your iron, so do stick around to that point in the video. Okay, so you saw me hit two shots. You can see on the screen right now a distinct difference in distance when you get a better turn to when you don't get a full turn, right? And we all know that. Think about coiling an elastic band up. The more you coil it up, the further the ball's gonna go. So, I want you to now take it to that next stage of putting the club down to the ground. Now, I love this because you're gonna feel really loaded. But what I want you to do here is I want you to step to where you put your right foot to where it would line up with the ball just inside your left heel. So a really nice, simple way of doing that is line that golf ball up in the middle and just take the right foot away to where you would go for your normal stance. Bring your feet together here, okay? You're gonna make a turn now, in. Look at my hip turn, look how loaded I am with absolutely zero sway. I really love this feeling and it's so good. Okay, taking this to the game now with driver, all I want you to really do is think of a wall behind your bum. Pressing your back right pocket into that wall is how you do this. Oh, the feeling's great. I've actually seen a few tour players do this move and it was good enough for them. It's 100% good enough for us. Okay, so I dress us up, get our feet in. That turn. Oh my, straight as a die. Let me go and show you where that's finished and just explain to you why this is gonna be so much better for hitting down on your irons and getting that zip as it lands on the green. Now we've finished an absolutely prime scenario to hit into this hole. Look at this approach shot though, it's tough. So I said there was loads of benefits for driver and upgrading our power, you've seen them. Now this is, imagine this is our golf ball. You don't need it, just to help me. If I sway massively off this and I stayed there, you can see where I would sort of contact the ground in my golf swing, right? I would more likely hit the ground first and sort of scoop at that ball. Not good for our power. Whereas, if you can keep that turn to be central and that right hip turning and loading, you're a lot easier to hit down. Okay, I've got eight iron in my hand, about 145 to the flag. This is that yardage in it. What would you be hitting for number one? But it's actually, this is where our game's won and lost. If you can hit the green on these shots, our handicap tumbles, I promise you. Okay, so I'm picturing that same thing. Really getting that right hip turn onto that wall. Can I bring that into my game? That is a laser down at the flag. Just fading off now. We're dancing. We are dancing. Thank you so much for watching today's video and see you tomorrow.